Hey YouTube, good morning. Um, today I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to take a piece of 2x4 and I somewhat uh, trimmed it up here. There's still nail holes and whatnot on here, but it doesn't matter. On this end, it's pretty clear. I'm going to make a wooden spoon. I always wanted to make one or two, so there's my chance. I'm going to make a wooden spoon. I might even make a few after this. So let's get started on this. All right, the first thing we're going to make is our pattern for our spoon. So for this, I'm just going to use a grocery bag. I'll just draw a line. I'm just going to take some scissors and cut that. Our fold should be right in the middle. At the end here, I might want to give it a little, a little extra towards the end. And cut this. Now you just unfold this and here's our template. Now we can trace this on our piece of wood, making sure uh, try to avoid knots and nail holes or whatever that's in your board. Now that's what we should get. So basically, on the sides what you do is just more or less draw the profile on the side, you know, you want your handle to come down a little bit. Here's another thing I forgot to mention. You're also going to put, draw a line inside your outline for, the, for your scoop. So I go about, I don't know, a quarter inch, three eighths, something like that on the inside and just follow the profile. It'll be easier to work on the scoop. Wow, I have a square stock. So, clamped into my vise, I'm going to take my funny homemade gouge. I don't have a gouge, and I don't have a Dremel, I don't have nothing that I can uh, start working on my bowl, if you will, inside the scoop. So what I did is I just took a piece of hardwood, made a slot in it, I took a washer and filed it. I got myself a little gouge I can dig with. Well, that homemade gouge washer thing works pretty good. I'm already down, uh, I would say, a quarter of an inch or so. I'm going to keep going a little more. I probably want to go down. I want to make this a fairly big scoop, so I want to go down at least a half an inch. I chose, I'm going to take a quarter inch chisel and just score the outline of my scoop. When I'm satisfied with the depth, I'm just going to refine it. All right, we're going to start cutting down our stock. There we go. That's the length of our spoon.
Definitely gonna help me cut the way to waste a little bit. I'm gonna finish the rest by hand. Now I just gotta sand the bottom, scrape it and sand it. Here we go, I'm done. And uh, that's what we have. In front here I put a little scoop, because I can also use it to scoop if I want to, like let's say flour or anything. But I didn't go so deep that I can also get some broth, let's say. So it's like a, almost like a two scoop in one. The neat thing about this is every one you're gonna make is gonna be slightly different. So try it out. All right, you guys. We'll catch you guys on my next video.